Okay, good evening everybody. I'm so happy that you made it to the webinar tonight. This has been the most requested question on all across my Facebook groups, all in my WhatsApp groups, um, messages to me on a personal basis, messages to Stuart. So I forced Stuart, would you believe, <laughs> to do yeah, this yes. webinar. Um, a bit of a backstory and a fun fact. So we live quite close to each other. So we live just on the Nottinghamshire Derbyshire border. And when I started teaching classes 34 years ago, I lost my voice really quickly and got nodules. So I needed a microphone and a, a company in Belper called Sound Dynamics. Actually, I found them. They, or I contact, they contacted me and they got me a head mic. Um, Stuart, it wasn't Stuart's company then. It was, it was owned by two other people. And this yep. is still... The head mic. I still use it. Wow. It's true. I mean, look, look, at how it look how naked it is. I still <laughs> use it. It's, I always love the, I love the solid mic more than yeah. anything. Yeah. And so that was awesome. And so um, Stuart took the company over and Stuart and I have been great friends. Um, and you, and they are awesome. And if you've ever dealt with, with Sound Dynamics, you'll know that Stuart goes above and beyond with his advice, his help, his customer service, but he never wants to be in the limelight, ever. <laughs> <laughs> so That's I right, yeah, pretty him. much, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I've forced him tonight to come into the, into the limelight and answer everybody's questions. So kind of fast forward or, or rewind to three weeks ago, when we went into this, this period um, and everybody was going from physical to digital and I was trying to help as many people as possible go uh, and the questions were mounting and it was pretty, it was pretty clear pretty quickly that the audio on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, YouTube Live, it's not the best. It's definitely passable. And I think the most important thing I want to say to everybody tonight is you don't have to invest in expensive tech right away. I think just get going, get broadcasting, get over yourself, get out there and just get used to teaching into your phone or your laptop because it is very different. But the sooner as you do that and you do it more and more, you'll get the energy, your clients, your consumers, they'll start to get into it and you'll get the energy back and you'll feel the bounce and you'll, you'll really love it. You really will. Then you'll want to start to up the quality of your productions and I think we can see that very much now if we're scrolling through our newsfeed yes lots and lots of fit pros and trainers are online doing their thing but it's now you know we do want better audio and I think people can get away with maybe pixelated video not being too good I think as long as you've got a nice tidy background obviously you've not got your your dirty washing in the back back of the shot I think people can are quite happy to for you to teach to them with a nice plain background or out in the garden but when the audio sucks it's an absolute nightmare nobody wants to listen and you can literally see the viewerships just dropping when there's feedback when there's distortion and just when it doesn't sound great so um, as the whole of the industry seems to be moving to either two models the Facebook live model so where you're either delivering open content on your open Facebook so people can see you they can connect with you and then you can bring them into your paid offerings so whether that's a Facebook group where you have a subscription model Model, a weekly subscription perhaps or a monthly subscription or which I'm doing at the moment is a masterclass model where we're doing one-offs 90-minute masterclasses all different different topics trying different things to see what people need and we're doing that all housed in the zoom kind of framework and it's important to understand that zoom was never designed to be teaching exercise to music to it is a, a conference facility but even in the last couple of weeks, you know, if, as you're logging into Zoom, you can see that every day there's an update. And if you've got maybe not just the standard Zoom, but the business Zoom or even the enterprise level Zoom, which are more costly per month, you can see there's a lot more functionality in that as well. And the important thing that we both want to stress before we, we take your questions is to say that everyone is going to have a really unique experience when they view you because everyone is going to be viewing you on different devices. So some people are going to be in, um, you know, an iPhone 6. Some people are going to have an old laptop. Some people will be on an iPad. Some people will be on a Windows. Some people will have you on an HDMI lead, on an Apple TV, broadcasting in 4K. Some people have external speakers. Some people won't. So there's always going to be slightly different experiences. And I think you've got to manage your expectations a little bit 
it's never going to be like sitting at the cinema, Dolby surround sound <laughs> with amazing, you know, cinematography. It's always going to be a little bit up and down. And I think you will grow and you will get better with this. Although it seems difficult and it seems a, a really steep learning curve, you definitely will get better. And it definitely does get better the more you do it. I think it's really stressful. I find Zoom stressful because of the tech and the Wi-Fi and the broadband and is everybody going to get it? And, and the, the more people will, the longer we go down that route and people get used to it. And it's amazing how people have got used to it in just the last few weeks. So if you've got questions, pop them into the chat box right now. Um, we're going to answer your questions straight away, but I wanted to flick over to Stuart right now to say what is the most common question that you're getting on the phones every single day regarding Zoom and audio? I would say the most common question at the moment is that people are trying to use their speaker in the living room and then trying to pick it up from the tiny laptop microphone from three or four or five meters away. And with that, you're just going to get this warbling kind of, it'll sound like you've fallen down a hole or you've got your head in a bucket. And as you walk closer to the microphone, it'll pick you up better. And as you walk further away from it, it'll go quiet. And as you go to the left, it'll be different to going to the right. So you can't kind of expect this tiny microphone to pick you up and you, you know, like you said, you, you need the better kit eventually. You can, it's a good starting point, start from somewhere. Yeah. But then you're going to, you're going to have to ha add to it eventually. Yeah. So most people are, are literally getting their laptop, they're setting up Zoom, they're putting their phone or an iPod mm -hmm. connected to a, a speaker next to their speaker on, or their, their microphone on the laptop and they're broadcasting just like you and I are now. We're not using yeah. any equipment. We're just using the, the MacBook and your laptop's microphone, but we've not got any, any, any music, obviously. That's so true, most yeah. people are starting off with that. So that's not working. Um, why is not that no. working? And why would it be better then to, to actually pipe the music through iTunes rather than just having a, a speaker by the side? Well, it's not working because it's fine like we are now sat right in front of the microphone, but as soon as you move away from it, it's going to get worse and worse. And then you're trying to add music to the equation as well. And then you're jumping up and, around, up and down. You could be on a trampoline or you're doing club exercise or zumba or whatever it may be. And the, the music's just going to be all over the place and the microphone's going to be all over the place. And it's just trying to pick up general noise in the room so if someone starts mowing the lawn next door or someone <laughs> on the door or it's, or the dog barks it's just going to pick up literally everything in the room okay mm -hmm. so we've got three sort of workable options we think don't we we think so, think so. we think there's three were so i this is what i did uh, mm -hmm. so this is this is the what's this mixer called Stuart? that's called a u-pad so this is called a U-pad. Yeah. So basically, I've got my trusty Trantec here, yeah. which is going in, let me work it out. So the Trantec receiver is mm -hmm. going into channel one here. Yeah. Top left-hand corner. Top left-hand corner. So I am able to, to change the volume of my microphone on that channel. Mm -hmm. So that gives me flexibility with the audio. So I can turn it up, turn it down. So that's yeah. definitely a plus. So um, then the next thing is I, I've been running my music on an old phone, an iPhone 7. So I've got my iPhone 7 with all my license free Pure Energy Go music on. And that is coming into, into a jack into this channel too. Yeah. That's right, yeah. So then I can, I can change the volume of the music. I can make sure the music and the, the volume of the microphone is right. Mm -hmm. um, and that goes with this cable here into the back of laptop. Now, I tried it with a laptop, but Zoom wasn't doing it for me on a laptop. Couldn't see everybody. So I've no, now gone into the back of my iMac screen, which is a 27-inch screen. Um, and that also gives me some, t I can tilt up and down. It's really easy for me to see everybody on the screen. Um, much easier than a laptop. But yeah. if you've got a TV, a 54-inch TV, that's going to be even better. You can, 
you can plug this into the back of the TV. Is that right, Stuart? No, that goes. That has to go into a laptop, laptop. or a PC, USB yeah. socket, yeah. or a Mac, and then you would link the laptop or the PC to the TV, usually using a HDMI cable. Okay. Now, so, so this is the, the better option at the moment, and things yeah, like so, so all that is basically doing is linking your microphone mainly to a laptop. So you can't plug a microphone system directly into a laptop. You can't plug a speaker directly into a laptop. So all that device is doing is just going, it's just linking, it's just a linking device that links your mic receiver through the mixer, down the cable, and into your laptop. Okay. Um, as well as that, you can use, like Rachel does, she also plugs her music into it as well. Mm -hmm. And again, it just links her iPhone, through the mixer and into the laptop, giving her those volume controls to allow you to have a little bit more play in the volume so you can turn one up and turn one down. Yeah, that was the, the reason I went for that setup was because on a, on a Pilates presentation, I could just have the music very background and have the audio a lot louder. And on a presentation that was more a cardio based, a hit workout when I wanted the music louder, I can change the volume of the audio against the volume of the music. Now that's taken a good four or five attempts and a few hours going through the settings, finding the right settings. But for Zoom, it works really well. And then today we put it in Facebook Live and again, just, just changing the settings slightly and the audio quality on Facebook Live just improved about 100%. So Good. this setup works exceptionally well. <laughs> it does. That, yeah. yeah, we've got loads of questions, loads of questions. Okay, so the main problem people are finding is that when they do that setup or they've ordered a mixer, when they use the microphone, it, it takes the music. So you know why that happens, don't you? <laughs> well, this is, this is the slight issue. It's, it's like you said before, yeah. because people are using so many different devices and some have got the free Zoom and some are, have got the 14 quid a, a month one, is it? 14 quid a week? Yeah. Um, and then there's a pro one or whatever. So you're going to have different settings on different, mm -hmm. on different computers and laptops. Um, all I know for sure is that it's definitely going to be a Zoom setting somewhere. Yeah. Um, as, as the sound comes through the mixer and goes into your laptop, um, you do firstly need to go into the settings of the microphone on Zoom. So when you, when you look on Zoom, on the bottom left-hand corner, you've got a little picture of a microphone and it says mute underneath that. Yeah. Um, next to that, there's a little arrow. Mm -hmm. You click the arrow and it will bring up a little menu and at the top of that, it says select a microphone. Mm-hmm. So the first thing you've got to do is tell Zoom basically that now you've plugged a mixer in. So you need to select it as the USB. Mm -hmm. You've plugged your mixer into the USB socket. So at that point, you then open in the gate for the sound to go into Zoom and your music and your voice, if you plug both into the mixer, then they'll start to filter through into Zoom. Um, after that, you, you're going to have to figure it out and learn how to use Zoom and um, and just get your head around it, basically. Like just testing. Been for the last four or five days, yeah. Yeah. It is a question of just testing, testing, testing. Now, there's lots of questions coming up. Um, can people do that same setup? but use their music, play their music through iTunes. And they can, but you just don't have the flexibility of being able to change the volume on iTunes. Is that right, Stuart? If you don't you put the music... No, you, can, you can do exactly that same setup with the exact same mixer. Yeah. Um, you would play your music directly through Zoom using iTunes or Spotify or whatever you want to use. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the voice will then feed through from your microphone, so you'll have the, the microphone headset on. Um, your voice will feed through the mixer into the laptop, and then your music will be playing through Zoom via iTunes. Yeah, Bernie said that. So can you not play iTunes direct from the laptop? You're using for a Zoom with a mic added directly to the laptop. So yeah. you mean just a, a lapel mic? 
No, I'd, go, I'd always go ahead, sir. Okay. Um, because the, the problem with the lapel is it's down on your, yeah. your shirt or your blouse or whatever, and your, or your top, and you've, you, you're already kind of six or seven inches away from your mouth, whereas a headset sits right next to your mouth and picks your voice up perfect. Yeah, that is. but you've still got to get the mix. You can't just plug your radio mic into your laptop. It's got to go, no. in. it's got to go into the mixer first. And the mixer then's got to go into the the back of USB. the USB. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does everybody get that? Everybody with that? Okay. Yeah, the mixer is called the U pad. U pad. Yeah. Uh, and what is it? Does it retail at? Is it? I don't. Sixty nine pounds. Sixty nine pounds. There you go. Okay. Questions. Um, la la la. Can you yeah, recommend that? That's good. Seven new messages. As an instru I tried the iTunes and Zoom from laptop onto Bluetooth to external speaker, but music still distorted. Distorted. So I knew. Um, I tried the iTunes and Zoom from the laptop onto the Bluetooth to external speaker, but music still mm. distorted. So I'll need the mixer and the cable. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know this for sure, but I've spoken to a few kind of Zoom experts and um, it seems like Zoom dramatically increases the music from iTunes. Yeah. So if you've got iTunes set quite high, as soon as it hits Zoom, it gets boosted and it's just too high and it distorts. Mm -hmm. The key is to start by turning the volume of iTunes down so that as it then gets boosted by Zoom, it's still at a kind of a normal volume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good comment. Okay. There is another way, the other lead. So ex now I've not used this. So you explain right. the, the lead mechanism. The lead, yes. This is right. Okay. Do. <laughs> There's a lead. It, it works in the same way as the mixer, but it's just a, a lead that goes from the back of the receiver again and converts the signal and goes into a USB. The so back of the receiver of your mic? Of your, yeah, of your yeah. mic receiver box, yeah. Yeah. So a uh, cable comes out of your mic receiver box into your USB again on your laptop or your PC or your mic and just again feeds your voice down from your microphone into your laptop and then into Zoom. So you need jack, a jack to a USB? A uh, jack to USB, that's where the cable is, yeah, a jack on one end and a USB on the other. Okay, so jack to USB, so... So again, the, the concept is the same, you're linking the mic receiver to the laptop. Directly to go in, yeah. Now the difference is that the mixer has got the volume controls on it, so you've got a few more, you've got a few more controls to actually control the balance of your voice with the music. Whereas the cable is just a linking cable. I get it. So Fran says she has a lead from Stuart, which works with just the head mic and then the music channels through the shared screen. Yeah. I don't so know. That. that sounds like Fran is playing the music directly through iTunes or whatever. And yeah and sharing it on zoom so she's sharing her audio yeah she'll hear it through her laptop uh, her class members will hear it through zoom and then she's feeding her voice down the cable so that they can hear her voice as well and that's so that's a good option to do that's yeah good, cool. and the cable's a cheaper option it's 16.99 yeah and it like i said it links from your mic receiver to your laptop okay uh, uh, Okay, Diane says, I'm using Apple AirPods for sound in my ears and the mic. Oh, I can't catch that one. It's gone so fast. Hang on, hang on, Diane. No, no, I'm going to pull it back down. Do you see it? Um, no, I missed it. Um, it is, oh my gosh. I'm using Apple AirPods for sound in my ear and a mic. I then share my iTunes music via Zoom. Screen share sound only. Works great. However, mm. whilst I am dancing in sync with the music, when people see as not in sync. Oh, I've seen this a lot. It's mm. not in sync. The video seems to come through at a different time to my movements. Is that yeah. a Wi-Fi problem or is that? I think it's, I think because you, your street, you've got your iTunes open or, or your music device open on your laptop and mm. then linking that to Zoom and you've obviously got Zoom open as well. Mm. Mm. If your internet connection isn't the best, uh, it seems like it's more likely to lag if you are, if you've got iTunes and Zoom open at the same time and you're streaming from one to the other and then out through Zoom. Mm, mm. Um, okay. 
which is the other bonus of the mixer because if you're plugging your phone into the mixer and your mic and you don't have iTunes open, then obviously I assume you're taking up less bandwidth. Okay. It's less likely to lag. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think. Okay. <laughs> Somebody else is using earpods. If you share music through the screen, oh, is it possible to get a list of the different options? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Spent two days trying to get the lead <laughs> you sent me to the mic, to the laptop, but it won't. Yeah allow to play ah, i can't see that oh my god these are moving quick so this is i know nicola has been frustrated with this because she's she's posted loads on my group so where is it marie 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 uh, nicola spent two days trying the lead you sent me mic to laptop but it won't allow me to play itunes and my mic together only allows one or the other to play i think that's hmm. the setting isn't it Stuart? yeah uh, again it's there's a couple of settings I can go through, one being the, the first one I mentioned where you have to tell Zoom that you are plugging the USB in. So if you plug your USB in and then don't tell it, mm -hmm. then the laptop still thinks it needs to pick you up from the inbuilt microphone. Okay. So you'll have your headset on speaking away, thinking that it's picking you up from the headset, mm -hmm. it's still picking you up from the microphone on your laptop. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is in, that's in arrow next to mute. Yeah, mute arrow, there? select microphone, USB. Yeah. So at the bottom of that menu as well, you can go into audio settings. Yeah. And advanced, which is bottom right-hand corner. Yeah. And you click on advanced and it will bring up a menu on the right-hand side with three options. I've got it up. The one says suppress intermittent background noise. And when we use Zoom at the office, we normally disable that middle setting, suppress intermittent, intermittent background noise, disable yeah. it. Um, I believe that stops, this stops it picking up any kind of noise in the background. So if it picks up a noise in the background or picks up your voice, it will suppress the music, which you don't want it to do. So disable that setting. Yeah, they say, so I've just got into that settings now. I don't know if you guys can do it while you've got Zoom up on this webinar, but you click the little arrow next to mute. Mm -hmm. um, you go into audio settings. It brings up that. This is quite a new interface. This has just been upgraded. And then bottom right, you'll see advanced and then disable the middle one, which is suppress intermittent background noise. Yeah, yeah. So that should help for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, but again, I think it, it could also depend on various other settings on your Zoom. If you've got iTunes turned up too loud again and it's distorting, it might drop the volume when you speak. It might be too much for it. Yes, you do, Heidi. Yeah, yeah not quite sure, but it's going to be definitely, definitely a Zoom setting, not the cable. Yeah, yeah. Does that help, Nicola? Because I know you've been really frustrated. I really know you have. But just give me a call at the office as well. <laughs> Um, so that's good. Uh, tried both of these, but still no joy. But no, it'll work, Nicola. It'll definitely work. Just check that you've got that middle, um, you've got that middle uh, thing, that little drop down disabled. Yeah. Double, double check that it's that. And if, and if you have, and it's still not working, give, give us a call and we'll go through it and through it until we get it, get it going for you. Because we know it does work. It's just definitely a Zoom setting somewhere. It's yeah, 21 absolutely. hours. Absolutely. Okay, this is a good one. Which is the best mic to use, Stuart? Over to you. <laughs> I think it comes down to whether you want to use it just for online classes mm. um, or you want, it, you, you want to use it as a quality microphone when you go back to your normal classes as well. Um, we do one called an SD16 Pro High, which is a good system. And we also recommend the Trantec Fitness microphone. Um, both comes with they both come with good headsets, sweat resistant, rubbery, bendable headsets. Mm -hmm. um, which is the most important bit? You see a lot of companies selling four and five hundred quid microphones, but usually it's because it's got a hundred channels or something. And as a fitness instructor, you don't need a hundred channels. You're not broadcasting with the BBC you're teaching a fitness class and you need a good quality rubbery sweat resistant headset. So I will go SD16 Pro High. And what does that retail at, Stuart? Sorry? What does that retail at? Um, that's 200, 200 quid, I think it is. Mm -hmm. And the Trantec one's about 260. Mm -hmm. 
I've had my Trantec for 34 years and it's been yeah. measured every day. Again, it just depends. We're not, we're not trying to sell you equipment. We're just, I think you've got to get, you've got to get going with this first and then decide if this is something that you're going to pursue in yeah. the new world. And if you are, then it's worth the investment. If it's something that you are just doing at the minute to tide you over, mm. um, then okay, you know, then, then maybe you can, you can just, get the cable 16 pound for the cable and you can make that happen um mm. yeah we're all going to be different on this so you'll all be at different stages and you've got a different vision so for sure that's a good did you see that question from vivian no i missed it what did it say i think she said can i use an rx12 sound system with with zoom i don't know what that is what's an rx right so the rx12 is a portable sound system so it's an all-in-one type of portable sound system also comes with a headset microphone. Mm -hmm. um, so the answer to that one is that that particular system, yes, you can use it, and we've made a cable which links that system directly into your laptop again. Okay. Um, so again, probably best to give us a call about that cable. Um, it's about 20 quid, and it'll link the system directly into your laptop. I just, I noticed something yesterday, a couple of days ago, when I was, I was broadcasting to start with on Zoom on a MacBook Pro, then I went to MacBook Air, which was, there was all okay, but then when I went to iMac, even though it's an older iMac, the power on the iMac was, is a lot more, and the broadcast massively improved. So I do think it has a bearing on what you are broadcasting with. Do you, Stuart, do you think that has it? Or is that yeah, I think it, this is the thing. There's there's so many variations. Yeah, you've got you've got your internet connection and the device that you're using. Mm. Then got whether you're playing on iTunes or Spotify or or whatever else. Then you've got the fact you're linking to Zoom in some cases, most cases, or you can go Facebook Live. You've got your volume on iTunes, you've got your volume on your mic, you've got your volume on your laptop, and then it's going out to 20 or 30 more people who've also got their own device with their own volume controls as well. So yeah. I think the key is, which you said right at the beginning, it's not, it's not going to be perfect. Yeah. It, it's something you've got to try doing and build up and don't expect it to take an hour or a day, or days or four <laughs> days. You know, it, 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 it takes as long as it takes to, yeah. to get your head around it all. Good question, because I, I, it is a minefield, but I think. I went with it, friend. I went with the mixer solution because you you've got the flexibility of being able to control the volume on your mic and control the volume on your music, and so you can change that whatever you're teaching. So Pilates, it needs a different vibe the same as with you teaching the hit. So it did work well, but it took a lot of setting up and a lot of getting right. Um, I, there's quite a few questions about the road mic. I've got two road mics. I've got the little road mic, the wireless doe, and also the road mic Tran filmmaker, which were both really expensive. And I really don't, I've never been able to make them work. I've just never been able to, a friend of mine, Tanya was using it and she did the, the wireless mic. But again, because you clip it on here, Anything with you clip hair here and then you're lifting your head up and looking into you, you never, it never gives you the same. It's better if you've got a headset on like this because obviously the mic's right in front of your mouth. So you lose a lot of sound on the go. Um, I, could, I couldn't make it work on, a, on my iPhone. I couldn't really make it work very well and I couldn't see the difference. So there's a lot of... Rachel, it didn't do, do, you, do you think that's because, again, the road mic is made more for kind of broadcasting and sitting... Yeah. And, and a weather, you know, a weather person or a, or a new yeah. or whatever. You know, you're jumping around in it and you've got music playing again. Do you think that's the reason why it's not picking up as well? Yeah, I do. I think this, yeah, it definitely is. And I just don't think, I think it's hard to feed mics into iPhones. Don't it's you? It's possible, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's nearly, so anyway. hard. I mean, if you've got an iPhone with the thingy connection, you've got to have a dongle in the bottom of that before you start. So that's mm. going to lose a bit of, because there's a, there's a lead into a dongle, then into another lead before you've yeah. even got into whatever you're getting into. Yeah. It's not a minefield. I think you can, you can start with the lead. You can go with the lead, see how that goes. If you like the lead and you want to go to the next level, then maybe look at Mixer. Do you think, Stuart? Yeah, definitely. I think, I think, if you start, if you start with streaming your music or 
or playing your music directly through your laptop, through your, your play medium on your laptop and linking it and, and trying to crack that first. If that's your first step, mm. forget about a mic for the time being, mm. music right, and then you yeah. can right, I can hear my music, can you like hear my music? And then you can then start to feed your microphone into it and then you can balance it and get it right. Yeah. Um, the good thing about the mixer is that it gives you more options in the future. So if you buy the cable and you plug it into your laptop, it's all hinged upon you using your music directly through your laptop and through Zoom. So if you then change your mind and you say, oh, I don't want to use iTunes through the laptop anymore, you, you, can't, you haven't got the mixer to plug your music in. All you've got is the cable to link your microphone. Um, so the good thing about the mixer is it gives you more variation. You can play your music through it, you can play your mic through it, and it's more flexible to do things in the future. Uh, Monica's had a really good point and it's true she said you can plug an iPhone into a mic via a dongle and a TRS lead which is the one with the the, the jack with the three rings around it mm. but you could definitely plug a mic into it but it, it's have you got a mic and music going into it you can plug yeah. a mic into an iPhone it can sound fine I use these mics if I'm doing a piece to camera you know these mics are like 15 quid off Amazon they work brilliantly well if you're doing piece to camera, but when you throw music into the mix, it makes it more difficult, doesn't it? Definitely, yeah, yeah. Um, I've got a Bose L, can you see that one? I don't even know what that is. I can't see that one, no. Okay, I've got a Bose L1 speaker with a Trantec mic, which I got from Stuart. My yeah. speaker has two functions to control music volume and mic volume. I have the speaker connected to my Mac with an aux cable. Could a USB and a mixer be better? Don't know. You would do it the other way around though if you had the mixer. You would you would play your music and the microphone through your mixer, which would go straight through your laptop and straight into Zoom or Facebook Live or whatever. And then you would link back out of your mixer and into your Bose so you can hear the Bose system or any other system your end. So you'll hear the Bose in your room so you can hear the music and the mixer would send your voice and the music down the cable into the laptop so you can play it through Zoom. Okay, does that help Megan? I hope it does. This is questions that's come up a lot. Uh, this is your domain. Uh, webcam, do people need to add an additional camera on top of their laptop, iMac or whatever to get a better picture? Does that stop pixelation? Does it, do you look thinner on a webcam? Yeah. <laughs> You look more tan. You look younger. Uh, <laughs> What's the <this> um, <laughs> I think you'll, you'll find that out by looking at what it, you know, using your laptop and seeing what it looks like. If it looks terrible, then a, a, a webcam should improve that. Um, but the other way of doing it, and I think you know more about this than me, Rach, is how you can mirror your phone, can't you? You can use your phone as the camera still, even though you've got your laptop as your control part. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so how do you do that, Rach? How do you mirror your phone? Do you know how to so do you know when, Do you mean when, you, have, you know, like when you have your phone and you can have YouTube on your TV, do you mean you can connect your phone to your laptop? So how do you, how do you use your phone as the camera? Can you use your phone as the camera? Oh, still? I don't know that. I don't know how you do that. Right, okay. I think there's a way of doing that. Um, I'm not sure how to do it, but if your camera's not good enough on your laptop, mm -hmm. then you can continue to use your camera on your phone and somehow mirror it onto your laptop. So you'd have to have your phone set up there, wouldn't you, or there? Yeah. And then you'd have your laptop to the side of it as your control there, mm. with your mixer plugged in and your music running through it but you'd use your better quality camera on your phone as your main video. Is it worth investing in a webcam? Do you think, what, how good are cameras on laptops? And um, again, depending on the, it, say it's a reasonable laptop, are they, you know, investing in a webcam, does it make a lot of difference to the, the picture? Again, I, I think it, it's gonna depend on the webcam, but I, I think it would improve in general, I think it would improve a standard camera on a standard laptop. Okay. Um, I would, again, the only thing I'd be careful of is 
and I'm, I'm not knocking Amazon or any big company, but <laughs> obviously people are putting prices up. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> a guy found me last week, he, he paid 50 quid for a webcam, he went back on to have another look and then they put it up to 220 quid. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, we've got them coming in and we've done the opposite. We've knocked 10 quid off them all in the 49.99. And do they make a difference there? So you just plug it in. You just put your, you, you put your webcam on the top here. Yeah. And input it. Plug it into your USB. So again, just a standard USB connection most of the time. Okay. And and do you think that will get a, a better picture to your view? It should definitely. I would imagine it will give you a better picture than your standard laptop camera, yeah. Oh, Fran said, we use phone as cameras two ways, either sharing screen from phone or joining the meeting with the phone and spotlighting that feed. Spotlight, that's yeah, cool. I've heard people say that. That sounds good, yeah. Okay, that's easy to do, Fran. So if you didn't catch that, we use uh, two ways share. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. Ring Fran up. She'll tell you how to do it. <laughs> yeah, ring Fran Checkley. <laughs> She'll tell you how to do it. <laughs> um does well oh my god i can't see them going so fast i don't need to play music is it the same time at the time it all sounds very complex honestly it's not complex Sharif. honestly it's not it, it does sound it but it's not it's the same as when you you take your own portable stuff you can't imagine that you're ever going to set your portable stuff up at your, your community center but you do you know the lead you know it works you, you will get it it will uh, spotlight is when you spotlight a video so when you're on um on zoom you click spotlight and that means when somebody else comes in because if you don't, it will keep bringing the new person to the forefront of the screen. It keeps you as the focal point, is the spotlight. And it's again, top, right, little three, little dots. Gosh, this is going good. Come on, more questions. I've, I've definitely missed some because they were coming so fast then. Again, mindset girls, you can do this. You can understand it. You can work it through. Doesn't have to be a minefield. You just work it through one step at a time, logically, you really can. Um, oh, this has come up a lot. What if you don't have a, a laptop and you're only broadcasting from a phone? What's the best you can do on a phone, Stuart, do you think? I honestly think you, we've tried everything and we've not cracked it yet. Um, we're waiting for a new device to come in that's specially designed for tablets and iPhones and iPads and that kind of thing. But I think the overall problem is that you've, you've got a headphone socket and you've got... a uh, connected to charge it and that's pretty much all you've got mm -hmm. so on a laptop you've got various usbs and other ways to connect things so it opens up loads more options by using a laptop okay uh recording on youtube my son the picture were out lots of people saying out of sync with various things do you think it's it's web connection or it's if it's not zoom if they're not using zoom and it's out of sync facebook live was definitely out of sync for a couple of days but they are updating the whole of the live producer um so i think you're going to see huge improvements in facebook live over the next day in fact every day you go into facebook live producer it's changed the interface is changing it's updating on a on a regular basis so they are definitely throwing all resources into that so it will improve as will zoom i mean there is other options there's another option called blue jeans there's ecam there's obs software there's lots of other things that you can use it just seems that the industry has kind of settled on zoom at the moment mm -hmm. uh, questions will any usb slow your laptop down stuart <laughs> I don't think so, no. Um, no, I, I can't see how just plugging in a mixer or a cable of any kind will slow a laptop down. Um, no, I wouldn't say so. Okay. Sarah says, if you have a mixer with a jack output, can you run this to the head headphone socket rather than a USB? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean. If you mean that... Um, the, the mix has basically got a headphone output which you can link to headphones if you want to hear what, what's going through the mixer and into the laptop but you can link from the headphone socket back to a speaker in your room so that when you're teaching a class you can hear the music yourself through your speaker and hear basically what's going down the cable to everyone else in the room Okay, this is a good one. So Monica says we get perfect music and mic streaming to Facebook Live with a Samsung tablet for Seconds Pro and music and Eco2 mic receiver. Oh, that's the one you sent me, that Eco2. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. It. Talk about that one. A Behringer mixer is great. 6.3 millimeter twin mono output to 3.5 millimeter jack to TWRS and then into dongle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, I think. That, it, that Eco 2, it did, why didn't it work when we did it? Why couldn't I make it work? Flat, flat batteries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't do that. <laughs> Do you think that set up would work if it didn't have batteries in it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, things work better with batteries in most of the time. If it needs batteries, it, yeah. it was complicated though. Do you think it would work better than the, the mic, the, the mixer? Uh, Tranta, um, not necessarily. I mean, I, th I think the thing is, again, going back to that question, just uh, it's what works for you. If you've got yeah. something working well, and, and it's almost perfect, then there's no, there's no right or wrong. Um, and there's so many different variations again of everything. So if it works for you, great. Well, the vast majority of time, you won't just be able to connect any kind of mixer into mm. a laptop. Whereas if it's got a USB, then it can just plug straight into the USB. I saw this, I think it was Nicole. I wondered this, if you've got a Pioneer mixing deck, i.e. Um, CCJs, can you use yeah. that instead of um, a U-pad? Right, well some of them have got a USB out. Yeah, they have, they have got an out. You, yeah, you will be able to then. You should be able to. I mean, we went through with a lady, a customer the other day who had one, and she couldn't get it to work. But in theory, if it's got a USB output, but you've got to make sure it's not a USB input. It's got to be an output because you're going out of it and then down the cable and into a laptop. Yes, I've got a question from Jane. I'm looking for your email, Jane. She just prompted me. Jane was, I think I could answer this one. Can you download Pure Energy Music direct to your iPhone? You can now with the Go label. You can't any of the others, but that will change soon. We're on to that. I've got a QTX 150 watt speaker. Would that, I think we've answered this one, if I linked my iPhone or laptop to it, is a mic essential? We've, we've, done, we've done that one. I'm sure I think of something else. Can we talk about the other Ido? Uh, I think we've answered them, Jane. You wanted to do a team teach. You wanted to bring somebody else in so you could team teach together, which you can do that on Zoom, like me and Stuart are. Mm -hmm. So you could, you could be team teaching together like this. Um, you, it looks like if you want to do it on Facebook Live, you have to have a third party software called Ecam. Um, but I think, like on Instagram Live, you, Facebook Live, you will be bought, you'll be able to bring people into your broadcast in the next few days. I think that will be their next feature. So that should probably help you. Sarah says, could we use a Panasonic HD, oh God, video camera as a webcam so that we have a high quality video image via a USB connection? Yeah, should be able to, shouldn't you? Yeah, I think as a, as a camera, yeah. work probably, again, better than your standard camera on a laptop. Um, if you wanted to use a mic with that, I would imagine you've got to have the right socket to go into the camera. Into the camera. You've got to make sure that the camcorder's got a mic input, because I used to use that Panasonic all the time to film videos. Um, you've got to make sure it's the one with the mic input. Yeah. And if you want to plug music in as well, then I assume it's got to have some kind of auxiliary input as well. So it's got to have an input for a, a, um, a music device of some kind. Okay. Alison says, I can answer this one. Is it better to do Facebook Live from a computer? Um, at the minute, if you go into your Facebook business page, go into Creator Studio and then into Live Producer, you'll see a whole new dashboard for Facebook Live. So you can live stream from your computer, from your desktop. Um, it gives you loads more features. You can cross post into multiple groups across different pages. Um, it's very responsive. There's a little bit of a lag on it at the moment and it's slightly pixelated, but I think that's just because it's a new feature and teething problems. So yeah, I think they're gonna try and push more people now into live streaming from desktop and laptop. So it's not better, but it's kind of there. Um, Oh my gosh, more questions. Can you attend, attach an ION block rocker to your laptop? No, it's Stuart, over to you. And yeah, but again, you'd, you'd do the opposite way around. You'd, instead of plugging your mic into the block rocker like you are doing in a normal class situation, you would use something like the mixer, 
and you would plug your mic into the mixer, which will then send it through to your laptop. And then with a simple... Sorry, I didn't know that one. Thanks, Alexa. <laughs> And then you would come out of um, out of the mixer with a simple connection cable that goes into your block rocker. So again, you'd hear the music from your block rocker and everyone would hear it through Zoom because you've linked your microphone to Zoom. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about black and orange, which has an inbuilt mic, please do it. Black and orange. That depends on the model of the black and orange, Fran. So if you just tell me the model number, I'll tell you if it's possible or not. What's a black and orange? It's the sound system again. Like oh, okay. a music system, yeah. Like one of yours? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's have a look. What else? I'll just snip it. gestures are going so fast. Oh my gosh, you don't need the U-pad with USB if you are streaming. Oh, I need to grab that one. I can't see it. Uh, you don't need the U-pad with USB if you're streaming direct into a phone. The standard outputs work really well. The yeah. gain needs to be kept super low, though, on the mic input. The XLR balance cables are best through standard 6.3 millimeter unbalanced will still do the job as the cable run is pretty short. So the interface isn't likely to cause trouble. The Behringer mixer can give a control room output for your own monitor so you can hear yourself loud and clear. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Monica. Yeah. So you can run this straight, so you can run it then, Stuart, into your phone. You, well, I think what she's saying that you don't, you don't need the U-pad if you're happy with the quality of the music that you're already getting, sending it directly through iTunes or whatever into Zoom. Okay. If, if you've cracked it, then that's great. If it sounds brilliant, that's, that's great. Yeah, absolutely. And then add your microphone. If you want to add your voice to it, then you can buy the mixer or you can just buy the standard cable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Rachel, can you play Facebook Live again? Yes, absolutely. Facebook Live from your phone um, if you don't want to see the new face. Can you supply the cable to connect the UPAT to JVC Boombox, please? Um, no, you need the mixer. Okay. Yeah. Um, these are great questions. We'll call you tomorrow, Stuart. Right, we're back, yeah. <laughs> you <have> said that. <laughs> um, Imelda, how much is the mixer, Stuart, please? £69. And you get the USB cable with it. But you need speakers and you need a mic. Yeah, you need a mic and you need <laughs> a few other cables, yeah. Okay, Deb says, is it not possible to connect wireless microphone and iTunes via iPhone direct to L1 Bose and then connect Bose direct to Mac through cable? The link everything through Zoom. No. <coughs> I think you're going to struggle linking anything to a phone or a tablet of any kind because you've hardly got anything to link it to. Yeah, we are recording it. This is a good question. Uh, I think Joe said, if she goes from iTunes to Spotify through Zooms, participants get different results. They hear differently. I think so, yeah. I mean, going back to what we said before, iTunes in particular, as it hits Zoom, it seems to get boosted to such a level that it distorts like crazy. So iTunes seems like you need to turn the volume really low on iTunes itself before it gets to Zoom. Spotify doesn't seem as bad, but again, it's probably gonna vary slightly. Hmm, it's a question of testing. <clears throat> so while you all get in your people, I, I try and get everybody in as early as possible so I can start doing sound check straight away. Um, Sarah says, I use a mixer with a standard jack output. Is the cable that you supply a jack connection to USB? Yeah. If you've already got a mixer, it needs to have the capability of a USB output. So you can't, in general, you can't just plug any old mixer into a USB socket. It's got to have the facility to come out of the USB and then go into a USB the other end. Um, Carmel says, just checking, is there any advice we can give to the participant if music is too loud or it's totally controlled from our end? Or is it totally controlled from our end? It's not totally controlled, no, because they're going to have their device there and with their volume controls on. And like, like you said, Rachel, at the beginning, it's going to vary so much. Someone could be on the TV, someone could be 
have the surround sound. Someone could be leaning their phone up against a bowl. <laughs> very so much. <laughs> it's true. Oh, but, it's but you can control it from your end to a certain extent. That's like, like we said, down iTunes seems to be the main one because it's so loud when it hits Zoom and Zoom then boosts it. Okay. Um, oh, we've not talked about ear shots. Tell me about, have we talked about ear shots? Talk about ear shots. A little bit. Ear shots, in all honesty, the best thing with ear shots is if you could either email me, I can send you a video of someone setting them up and using them. Oh, yeah. A guy called Mark, I think he's a Les Mills instructor, and he's, he's done it and sent us a video of it. So if you want that video for the ear shots or the Apple pods or any other Bluetooth earphone, then if you email me, um, do you want me to give my email out? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you've got nothing to do tomorrow, have you? No, nothing. No, I'm just <laughs> sitting in the garden. Um, so it's Stuart W, Stuart, S-T-U-A-R-T, Stuart W at sound-dynamics.co.uk. And just put in this subject how to set up earshots or something like that. Earshot. How do they work? Though? How does it work with an earshot then? So you've got, obviously, if you've got, if you've got a div, an earphone which has also got its own microphone put into it, yeah. then you can connect that to a phone or a laptop so that you can hear the music your end. And when you speak like you would on a phone call, it gets pushed through to Zoom and they can hear it there and and they can hear the music and they can hear the music and you can hear the music yeah and it doesn't drop it doesn't drop the volume of the music when you speak that will only happen with anything again if if you've told zoom to do it normally by mistake if you've ticked a box or not ticked a box that you should have ticked then anything could do that but it all comes back to a setting on zoom the only thing with the earshots or any earphones is that I think there might be a slight lag again because you're hearing it slightly after it coming through your laptop, if you know what I mean. So, mm. But it shows that on the video as well. So if you send, like I said, email me and I'll send you the video for the earshots. And you don't need the super expensive Apple earshots. There is a, a, a more... A yeah, more... We, we've spoke to a factory about this and we do them for £59 and they say that they're pretty much the closest ones to the Apple. Apple might be better, don't get me wrong, but they're, they're, they're pretty good. And are you, and again, it's the same thing with the mic, so you're running the music through your iTunes, so again, you've got to get the settings right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a workable, reasonable offer. So you've got cable is your cheapest, your, your cheapest option. But you've obviously got to have your microphone and, you know, you've got to have your headset mic. Yeah. With the cable to link into your laptop. Okay. So you've got none of that, you've got none of that at home. And no. So you, you, so earshots could be the one that's. Worked. It could be the answer to some. I think, I think I would say that's the basic package in in a way because, and probably better for kind of educational type of fitness classes. If if you've got the lights off, and you're jumping around to club size with glow sticks, and your earshots fall out and you tread on them, then they're not going to work. But if you're doing something like maybe yoga or you're doing squats or something where you're facing the camera and it's more educational and it's not as jumpy then they're probably going to work they never stay in my ears somebody says i use earshots but halfway through the earphones stop working also how to prevent the crackling sound although you're not selling those to a sheree <laughs> yeah. well, i mean if they're cutting out halfway through then i would i would just and the crackling could be because the battery is running low as well so make sure you give them a really good charge and even with a really good charge, if they're still cutting out, then it sounds like there's something wrong with them. So give us a call. Okay, that's what's up. Charge them up, basically, is the answer. Okay. Any other questions, guys? We've been going an hour. I hope that's been really helpful for you and you've got some good insight into it mm -hmm. and you don't feel as confused, perhaps. Um, I will just stay a couple more minutes to see if there's anything else. And by all means, you know, give us a shout tomorrow if you need any help with anything. Um, and it, 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 honestly, I can just say it was just literally every night I was ringing you going, oh, it's not working, how can I do it? I just kept going back. I couldn't sleep thinking about it. Um, thank I you. think again, just, just to confirm again, 
it's not that difficult. You know, most of the time you've already got a headset and most of the time you've already got a speaker. So if you've already got a headset and you've got your music playing perfectly through iTunes and Zoom, then all you need is the cable for $16.99 and it will link your mic receiver and your headset to the laptop. Mm -hmm. If you can't get your music right or you want to move to the next level, then that's why when you get your mixer, which you can still use as normal just with your headset, or alternatively, you can play your music through your mixer and then come out to a speaker so that you can hear it in the room as well, and the mixer will take it into the laptop. Somebody said, will you do a demo? Uh, guys, I use, I use them, I've used the, U, the U-pad on all my Facebook Lives and all my, which you can see every morning at half eight in the morning or on my Zooms, I use that whole setup. So check that out. Somebody just said something about a cable and I couldn't see it. Did you see the cable one? No, I didn't. Um, um, lots of people are saying, yeah, what's Stuart's number? <laughs> off, yeah, office number is... I'm worried for you tomorrow. <laughs> I am worried. I'm really one seven seven three eight two eight four eight six sound dynamics office number. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> you might want to tell Emma that you're never gonna be seen again. Well she already knows, I think, to be honest. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Um or message me, Facebook message me or email me. Um, God, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad we can help. Um, awesome. There was another one with a lead, and I can't find it. Something about a lead. What's the the lead? You know? Oh, we've so lead from the U pad to your. It comes with it, doesn't it? it comes with that cable. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, the U pad comes with the USB cable. Yeah. And then you'll need potentially anyway. You'll need you'll you'll have the mic cable because you'll already have it with the mic system. So that's fine. And you'll just need a cable to plug your iPhone or phone or tablet into it, which again, just give us a call and we'll or send me a message and I'll link you to the cable. Yeah, okay. And I think just to reiterate for anybody that didn't jump in at the beginning, you don't have to buy any of all this tech. If you're just getting used to it, just use all Stuart and I are using now is laptop to laptop, no mics, and it's fine. If you've got a small number of people and you're just cutting your teeth, just do this for a few weeks and get used to it. And then as Stuart said, maybe look at the cable, maybe look at the earshots, and then once you get going again and you get some revenue coming in, then you maybe look at um, the mixer. It is a process. And it, like Stuart said as well, don't think you're going to set this all up in an hour because you're not. It's definitely going to take time and you have to keep tweaking it and asking and, and, and testing, don't you? Yeah, and I don't, I think you need, you can't always expect to teach your class in exactly the same way as yeah. we've previously been teaching it in a normal studio location. It's, you might not be able to have your music on so loud because you might live in a flat with neighbours around you. You know, there's going to be different variations to everything and you're going to have to adapt your class to suit this new way of teaching. Two questions before we go. These, these are coming up. Miss them. Um, how soon can you get cables in the post, Stuart? <laughs> um, straight away. All the deliveries are, from our point of view, are pretty normal. We're, we're, there's a couple of us in the warehouse and there's a couple in the offices and we're sending everything out straight away. Royal Mail seems to have a few little um, delivery problems, maybe. Some are a bit slower than others. Um, but Ooh, that's good. Hermes straight is away, you'll get them. Probably two days, three days. Okay. Um, the other one I saw was oh, another one on something that you did. Ah. Oh. Oh, Monica, thank you. If anybody wants a video walkthrough, um, she's Kettle Size Aylesbury. So thank you, Monica. That's really nice of you to say that. And do link with Stuart and I. I really appreciate you putting your comments in. Thanks, um, friend. Jackie says, I'm still waiting for a mic. It will come. Have a nice busy day with Stuart. Lovely to see you, Rachel. Welcome, Fran. Uh, there was another one more question I wanted to grab because I thought it was a really pertinent one and I can't see it. Um... See it. Oh, nice to put a nice a face to Stuart. Thank you. <laughs> That's nice. It's always nice to see your face, Stuart. Always. <laughs> I think that was it. I think we got through everything. I think everyone seemed to think it was helpful. I hope so. Yeah. Good. Okay. Again, like, like we said, any questions, just give us a call or send me a message or send us an email. <laughs> so friends just had a nice busy day at work tomorrow you yeah. better get your phone will be ringing now Hello. 
Um, I've recorded all this anyway, so I'll save it and I'll send it out to everybody and then we've always got a copy to refer to. And I'm sure we'll do another one in the next few weeks because things will upgrade again, won't they? So Definitely, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending time with us tonight. I really appreciate it. And see you tomorrow, 6 a.m. on the WhatsApp group. Oh, question. Oh, it's gone too oh, no. far. <laughs> Call Stuart. <laughs> um, stop recording.